And welcome to the debut of PWT Main Event, our latest wrestling's finest venture. I am Big Polly, and we are going to debut PWT. The timeline has this in year one, January 1st, and we're at PWT's New York Circuit. I will explain the uh, PWT a little bit. I came up with this idea when I was in the hospital. You have 27 circuits. This is going to recreate the territory system of circa 1980, except there is going to be no regional champions, but we're going to have a, a world champ, a world junior heavyweight champ, and a, a world tag team champion. And we have already crowned all of these uh, at a battle royal which is up on the wrestling's finest delphi board hello tom vogel how you doing good to be back in action and good to be with you once again uh in the tag team battle royal it was ray stevens and pat patterson winning that former gsw champs another uh, former gsw champ dr wagner senior not junior won the junior heavyweight strap and we had a surprise in the uh heavyweight battle royal andre did not win he entered but he finished way back in the pack jim londos and ricky dozan uh eliminated him so andre if he goes to japan probably have a little battle with ricky dozan uh it was vladek sabisco who won the world's championship and you see him there and his first opponent's going to be well known to you if you have been following my wrestling's finest ventures. Uh, it's John Pezik. He is going to be managed tonight by Captain Lou Albano. And Albano has already said if he wins the title tonight, he will be his manager. And that will give Savisco a little bit of a better chance of escaping New York with the title. So there are 27 circuits, and we go through one each circuit every month. And it's it's not gonna we're not gonna be doing this every day, but we're gonna be going on a timeline, and we'll go through a rotation. One night it's the world title, one night it's the world junior heavyweight title, and one night it is the world tag team title. So let's go through what has already happened on the New York card. Assume this is New Year's Eve, and not January second, of course. Uh, very deep uh circuits here uh each circuit was limited to the f best 15 wrestlers of its era new york of course kind of representing the the post uh nwa wwf wwf wwe and there are some ecw guys that tried to make it but didn't and you could keep each each man goes to the area where he was probably best known at or where he is from uh, secondarily, and each circuit could keep its best 15. Not each circuit has 15 grapplers or four tag teams. Uh, so there are independent free agents, and if a circuit needs a grappler, they could pick one up, or if they need a tag team, they could pick one up and call them theirs. So we'll go through the card. You know it's a good card when this is your opening card. Opening bout, Steve Austin, Stone Cold, and Triple H, they went to a 30-minute draw. Pedro Morales and Kurt Angle, another battle of former uh, WWFE champions. Angle won by countout 26-18. It was the Road Warriors, or as they were known in the WWF, the Legion of Doom. They put the boom on the Graham brothers. Roadies win by 19 minutes. Now, here's another wrinkle in PWT. Uh, PWT. Uh, this is this is basically set up using the 1980 territory system, except instead of having multiple world champions, we have one. We don't have any regional champions. We don't have a WWF champion. We don't have an AWA champion. They all use the same champion. Uh, but, like, for instance, the Graham brothers are Dr. Jerry and Eddie Graham. Eddie Graham will team in Florida with Mike Graham. So we are assuming that the fans are not smart to the business and they will be used in different combinations. You might see Bobby Heenan, for instance, as a wrestler in Indianapolis, but you might see him in Minneapolis uh, managing Nick Bockwinkel or something like that. We'll try to keep um, 
one manager to each circuit. So Lou Albano will be tutelaging, uh, is that a word? Uh, John Pezik tonight. Uh, Gus Sonnenberg, who was one of the first men to go from football to wrestling. Not the first, but he was he was one of the first. He was with the Providence Steamrollers back, you know, back in the early days of the NFL. He went uh, 22-16 with a heel Shawn Michaels and got the pin, forearmed in the nose. Triple H came out, busted Sonnenberg open, but... Only just it kind of like the Bucks today with Antonio Brown and the fiasco that was. Uh, it just seemed to fire them up a little bit. Bruno San Martino, Cola Coriani went to a 30 minute draw, and that sets up our world title match. Zabisco, Vladik Zabisco, no relation to Larry or Stanislaus, against John Pezik. I have already set the match up. You can see Pezik's stamina is exceptional. But Lou Albano might do something stupid and cost uh, Pezik the match. We have top contenders, by the way, in PWT. One more thing before we get this started. In the heavyweight, junior heavyweight, and tag team divisions. And they will be able to travel across the circuits of PWT and face off against the champs. Uh, so they, they, like, Pezik got the nod because Cola Coriani was not in the top three. I like to use either a one, two, or three contender, and if they have to earn their title shot, and if uh, Coriani was fourth in the ratings, uh, when this match started, uh, when this card started, so I gave the nod to the top contender, Pezik. Uh, so let's get the match started. Computer likes Vladek Sabesco. The computer controls both men. And Pezik, as I noted in GSW, has exceptional stamina being a shooter. And Pezik was invited into PWT because he was one of the major uh, GSW champions when the doors closed on them. PWT was a media conglomerate, kayfabe, kayfabe, uh, that bought him out. Uh, so, here we go. And it's Pezik starting out with a legal power move, but it was countered by Sabisco. And we have a strategy card used. Sabisco trying to get more aggressive, assumes control of the match. And Pezik has been kept off balance. And we have a pin on Pezik, but you, it, you gotta get up early in the morning to pin Pezik being a shooter. Illegal punches by Pezik. When I was in the hospital, I reread the Shooter by Lou Thez. Not Shooter, Hooker. The book is called Hooker because a shooter hooked uh, back in the Carney days. Right around the time that wrestling went to showmanship more, which was, I'd say, circa the 1920s. And Thez was ta uh, tutelated was was taught by George Tragos, who was a shooter. Neck hold by Pesic, and it was countered by Sabisco. Sabisco's rather crafty. Uh, he got he has a submission attempt here on Pesic, but it does not succeed. We're 207 into the bout. No action as there was a tie up in the corner, but both men break clean. The crowd applause here at here at New York. No action, no action, no action. A body slam by Pezik countered. A legal power move. Clothesline here by Zabisco. I wonder where we learned that from. I didn't, I didn't think that would be legal back in his day. Or a move that would be known. A pinhole. Rolling reverse of so Zabisco getting some pin attempts. He has picked up the first two pin attempts. Although the odds on getting a pin on Pezik is not good. Left my fan on. Hang on a moment, folks. There we go. Sorry about that if you were hearing interference. Leg hold by Sabisco, followed by a legal forearm and a legal throw. Another pin try. No pin. Of course, Pesic has to uh, pin or make Sabisco submit in order to win the title. Sabisco does not have to beat Pesic. Uh, arm breaker here by Sabisco. So he's racking up the pin attempts. Or submission attempts. That's four now. Power move by Sabisco. Kick by Sabisco. He's keeping Pezik off guard, and this is a surprise. Uh, 
Another submission attempt here. Sleeper hold, it looks like it has appeared. Or a, uh, as Gordon Soli used to say, a Shinendomaki. And this time, Pezik nails uh, Sabisco on the arena floor. They travel to the arena floor, and Pezik gets the upper hand. Uh, but Pezik behind on points by about 67 at the moment. Another painful arm breaker. Auto control loss. A power move by Pezik as he, stri he tries to get off the schneid here and get something going. Pezik has almost lost the stamina level. He started, uh, it was like 105-3, so he'll gain three points uh, and lose the stamina level here uh, in just a moment. Illegal punches by Sabisco. Illegal. Choking by Sabisco. Like I said, he doesn't He doesn't have to win. Uh Zabisco with an arm hold, no action, and yep, uh, Bezik has lost the stamina level. Zabisco all 38 points away from losing his first stamina level. So, shows you that Zabisco is strong in the early going. Illegal punches by Pezik. Legal chop by Pezik was countered. Arm hold by Zabisco. He's working that arm. Working those arms. As Ole and Gene Anderson used to say, it's like taking a leg out off a table. You take a leg off the table, the table falls down. Reverse body lock. Reverse body lock. We'll try the pin attempt anyway, and no success. Legal forearm by Sabisco. Legal neck hold by Sabisco. So he's controlling the action quite well. Big body slam, but that was countered by Pezik. Pezik in control, but oh, a low blow. Oh, that 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 was felt by every man in the arena in New York. They grimace and they go, ooh. Low blow and Savisco could forget about having children for a while. No action. Auto control loss. A legal power move. Savisco catches his breath and he's right back on top of Pezik at the 1407 mark. We have four pin attempts by Zabisco. We have yet to have a pin uh, attempt by Pesic. Legal chop by Zabisco, and that was followed up by a leg hold. Reverse body lock again, and that again weakens Pesic. So Zabisco really keeping... This, this kind of reminds me of the Buster Douglas-Mike Tyson fight where Douglas was dominating Tyson and nobody had dominated Tyson. This is the first time I've really seen Pezik be dominated. Another big body slam, but this was countered. Got to see if Pezik can do anything to turn the tide. Illegal choking by Sabisco And a leg hold by Pezik, which was legal. But it's Sabisco way ahead. Kicked by Pezik. And snap souple, no pin. Only a two, two out of 40 chance to get the count of three. And on we go. Illegal punches by Pezik. This is, by the way, a one fall 60 minute time limit. Arm hold by Pezik. Rest holds aren't going to do it as Pezik is way behind on the scoring. Leg drop by Pezik. Pezik has called for the assistance of Luabano, and it's not he was knocked off the ring apron, falls hard to the floor. And bye-bye, Lou Albano, as he has been carted off to the locker room. So Albano tried to interfere and turned the tide, and it backfired. Figure four by Pezik, and we'll, we'll do the count anyway, but it's not going to score a submission. Big body slam by Pezik. Arm hold by Pezik. Hair pull by Pezik. You kind of wonder if Albano's removal uh, from ringside is going to help Pezik now. We're 20 minutes into the bout. Uh, Pezik with a power move. A leg hold. And it looked like a foreign object attempt was used. And Zabisco foiled that. An elbow. And an inside cradle. No pin. 22-24 into the bout now. It's a submission move. A body scissors. No action. Auto control also back over to Pezik who fires a legal throw. The deficit has gone down to now about 68 points. No action. And we have an auto control loss by Pezik. 
Sabisco follows up. Spinning toll hold, but you're not going to get Sabisco on a submission, at least not this early. Uh, Sabisco has lost a stamina level or two. He's at 30-28-2 on his pin attempts. Reverse body block. And that does not get it done. Body lock. Pile driver by Pezik. Wonder where he learned that. Legal throw by Pezik. The challenger trying to get it going. He's now only trailing 49 points. Low blow by Pezik. Ouch. Of course it was illegal. I've never seen a low blow be illegal. Forearm by Zabisco. Kick by Pezik. Illegal punches by Pezik. Leg hold by Pezik. And he's now only trailing 37 points. Neck hold by Pezik. So Pezik putting moves together now. Illegal throat chop. Ropes move. Countered. Uh, legal chop by Pezik. Legal power move by Pezik. He's almost caught up in the scoring. Neck hold by Pezik. Uh, Sabisco just lost another stamina level. Legal headbutt. We are now more than midway through the 60 minute time limit. Pezik seems to be, uh, be get on a roll here. Has gotten on a roll here. Uh, another reverse body lock, but that's not going to score. We'll just we'll just run it through. Uh, power move by Zabisco. We have had five pin attempts now by Zabisco, two by Pezik. But Pezik definitely gaining momentum. Arm hold by Zabisco. And a whole bunch of nothing happens. Arm hold by Zabisco. Deficit now 51 points. Interaction. Fan interaction. Pezik expends energy pleading for the crowd to stop booing him. Illegal punches by Pezik. No, no possibility of a pin there. A very low possibility. Illegal punches by Pezik. A headlock by Pezik. Toe hold. This might change the complexion of the PWT, but it does not. As Abisco finds the ropes. And we are now in at the, almost the 38-minute mark, and Sabisco may be in some trouble. Illegal punches by Sabisco. Cobra clutch by Sabisco, which will not score a submission. Arm hold by Sabisco. Legal arm hold. And Sabisco losing stamina. And we have a legal forearm. Pezik using the ropes. No pin. Legal forearm by Pezik. Submission move. It's a claw-like hold. That will not get it done. So we have high drama here in New York. Pezik now as close as uh, he has been uh, in a while uh, in terms of the stamina losses it is... He's only trailing by 22. Illegal choking. Now it's 16. Neck hold. Now it's 10. Power move by Sabisco. Goes up to 17. And illegal chop by Vladik. Choking by Pezik. Submission move. A cobra. Looked like a cobra hold on uh, Pezik by Sabisco. We are now at the 4403 mark. Double wrist lock by Zabisco, and that was looked painful. Took 13 points off of Pezik's numbers. And Zabisco now about 19 points from losing another stamina level. We're at 45-21. Pausing for a commercial in nature. Which is what Vince McMahon used to say all the time when he was doing the WWF matches back in the early 80s, I believe. Legal throw by Pezik. And a body slam right back by Zabisco. It's 283 off of Zabisco, 321 off of Pezik. As we head to the 47-minute mark, legal chop. And a body slam. A whip to the ropes by Zabisco. 1 in 40 chance it pins Pezik, but no pin. Reverse body lock, but it was countered this time by Pezik. So Pezik has a race with the clock now. Illegal punches have been scored. 
and the leg hold and choking. Claw like hold for Zabisco. No, no sale. He's got to hold on for 10 minutes and he'll escape to New York tonight with the title. His next defense would be in uh, the Maritimes of Canada, which used to be a circuit back in the day. Body slammed by Sabisco. St. John's, Newfoundland, I think, will be heading. Atlantic Canada is uh, what I refer to the, that circuit as. Legal throw by Zabisco. He's now opened up a 56-point lead. He's got time on his side. A double wrist lock by Pezik. And we have a brand new world champion. John Pezik got it done in the midnight hour. And Pezik is your new GS, not GSW, but PWT world heavyweight champion. Uh, Zabisco put up a darn good fight. It was a five-star match. But the Tiger Man, who won the GSW championship three times, is now your PWT champion. He, he did say he would keep his promise and retire if somebody pins him uh, as PWT champion. He did make that vow in GSW, but... GSW folded before uh, he could lose the title. So he is now back as champion or champion for the first time in PWT. Zabisco becomes a top contender. They will they will trade places. And Zabisco will probably get a rematch for the championship at some point in the future. But well done for John Pezik. He will now travel to the Atlantic part of Canada and defend the World Heavyweight Championship. And we will be back probably, this will probably be a weekly series where we're just going to do a match of the week. But thank you for joining the first episode of the PWT main event. This has been Big Polly coming to you. Wishing you well. Godspeed. God bless. And we'll do it all again real soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.